Welcome back, MMC fam. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I am gonna show you today how I made this special end of the year gift for my daughter's kindergarten teacher. Of course, I had to make her a tumbler. I could not make her a tumbler. And I learned that her favorite color is teal and she loves reading. So I knew exactly what direction I wanted to go with this cup. We are starting out with a fully prepped and sanded cup and I spray painted it with Seaside from Rust-Oleum. The glitter I'm using today is St. Lucia from Peachy Olive Glitters, and I'm gonna be applying this with CC DIY's UV resin. Once your glitter is applied, you're gonna to want to cure this UV resin. You can do it one of two ways. You can either stick it under your UV light for about six minutes, or you can just stick it out in the sunshine, which is what I did with this one. I just let it sit outside for a little bit, and you'll know it's fully cured and ready to go when your glitter feels crunchy and none of it moves around underneath your finger. After the UV resin was fully cured, I went ahead and sprayed my glitter with Rust-Oleum 2 times clear gloss, and then it was ready for epoxy. I went in with about 30 mils of DIY Epoxy's Speedy Peedy, and then about 45 minutes later, I went right in with a second layer. I love doing this because those two layers cure together, and it makes it a little bit easier when you have to sand. I did have to do a little bit of sanding on this one because the glitter has some square cut pieces in it, so there were some pokey bits. So I just sanded it down really well and then sprayed it with clear gloss once again, and then we were ready to go in with our decals. I'm sure you guys are tired of seeing this technique by now, but it is honestly my favorite way to get images onto a tumbler without having to do print then cut on my Cricut because it never wants to work. If you guys want to see how I get this solid image back here that goes underneath our water slide, I will link a video down below where I show you how to do it in Cricut Design Space. I got all these images from Creative Fabrica and I will have them linked down below. For the image of the girl, I did just add some different clip arts from a different uh, section on Creative Fabrica. That's not the right term, but I just put some pieces of clip art together. I'll have them all linked down below, and I just put them together in Procreate on my iPad, but you could just as easily do it in Cricut Design Space as well. I went ahead and placed my white vinyl where I wanted this girl image to go, and then I placed the flowers around that in just a random pattern. It doesn't have to be anything too fancy because we're going to go in and fill any gaps a little bit later. Once you get all your white vinyl applied, you can go straight in with your water slides. You don't have to epoxy in between the vinyl and water slide. You can go ahead and put that right over the top.
Once your water slides are completely dry, you're ready for your next layer of epoxy. I always like to wait at least an hour before going in with epoxy, but I much prefer waiting overnight. It doesn't really matter too much as long as they're completely dry. For this next layer, I used about 20 mils of DIY Epoxy's Speedy PD and let that cure for about four to six hours. And then we were ready for our next step. This little book page image is from Creative Fabrica as well. It will be linked down below. It does come in a pack of a couple of different papers, but I just printed out this one and it was more than enough. And what I did for this was just rip this into pieces to kind of make it look like torn pages of a book. And I applied this with the glitter glue from Artesian Epoxy. It's gonna get a little bit confusing here. I know there's some drama with those two brands, but we're just gonna ignore it. I'm using what I have. <laughs> to apply this, I just put a little bit of glitter glue straight onto the tumbler, and then I sealed it really well over the top with that same glitter glue. I didn't end up having to seal these with any kind of clear spray or anything like that. Just make sure you seal it really good with the glitter glue and you'll be good to go. Once all that glue is completely dry, you're ready for your next layer of epoxy. And once again, I went in with 20 mils of DIY Epoxy's Speedy PD. Once I let that cure for about four to six hours, we are ready for the final decal, which was my daughter's teacher's name. Once that is on, you're ready for your final layers of epoxy. I went ahead and just did two layers of DIY Epoxy's Speedy PD. I always like to do at least two layers over any vinyl decals I have. It makes everything a lot smoother and you won't be able to feel anything underneath. I'm also really loving this Speedy PD epoxy, by the way. I am shocked at the lack of bubbles in this epoxy. They're almost non-existent, and if there's any at all, they'll easily pop with a torch. I don't use a big torch, I just have a small like kitchen torch, and seriously, it is crystal clear, it is so pretty, and you can use it as a final layer, it doesn't have any smell or anything like that. So if you guys are looking for a new epoxy to try, I highly recommend this one, I'm loving it so much. All right, and here's what it looks like when it was completely finished. I absolutely love how it turned out. I am so glad I decided to add the torn little book pages because it adds so much more character. I wasn't originally planning on doing that, but I'm so glad I did. I love how the little blue butterfly just kind of ties everything together and the whole cup just, it works. I hope you guys love this as much as I do. I absolutely love how it turned out. My daughter's teacher really loved it as well, which made me super happy. If you guys haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out so, so much. Leave me a comment down below of what you guys think of this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. And with that, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.